see um, this has added a type and a section for PHP in IIS so whenever the request comes to PHP it knows where to execute the where to find the executable for PHP so if you want to remove this extension you can uh, execute this command uh, CF script uh, remove configuration you can remove the section and uh, now you should be able to execute PHP programs in in your IAS environment we can try that out to try that out let me close these things And uh, I'm going to go to my local host. On the local host, I'm going to create a file, new text file. I'm going to write a small PHP script. This just display PHP information. PHP configuration information of your system. I'm going to save it and rename the file. I'm going to tell it, uh, rename it to info.php. Name is there. We'll say it is test1.php. So we can go to the go to IIS now. We test one dot php. So I'm getting this. Um, it's printed this text on the browser, but this is not why I'm, what I am expecting. Now it should print PHP configuration in a nice tabular format. But uh, see, see, uh, if you are getting this kind of thing, or pay, any page cannot be displayed, or it, it will sometimes ask to download this page that means still PHP is not working so I forgot to tell you the I forgot to add an extension uh, to IIS server that shows whenever request comes it should point it to uh, fast CGI ex uh, executable so we have to add that configuration uh, to our IIS server so you can uh, click go to IIS server by uh, typing init mgr and let's enter it goes to IIS interface I forgot to show you in the beginning I'm running on IIS 5.1 and my system my system is uh, running uh, Windows XP I'm running on Windows XP uh, Windows XP professional service so pack 3 so we have to go to you can click on you can go to default website click on properties and click on home directory and under configurations these are the configurations that tells whenever the HTTP request comes for this kind of extension these are the external programs to run so we have to point our point P uh, we have to create a pointer to our fast CGI extension wherever whenever P, uh, whenever HTTP request comes for PHP it should point to, to our fast CGI extension so we have to add an uh, extension click on add and browse uh, browse our fast CGI extension it's under Windows system 32 And I need uh, I need SVR system thirty two. Go to system thirty two again. Click 
comes this directory, I need Aswera and uh, select all files, DLLs and file fast CGI DLL extension DLL. This is the extension for fast CGI. And press open. So it will place a path in here. Put the extension and uh, if this button is still disabled you can click in here it will enable this button it's a bug <laughs> don't worry about it click add now you can see the extension for php is being added to the list and you can click apply and okay and click okay then you have to restart ias you can do it go to command prompt and type IIS reset this will restart your IIS server successfully restarted then go back to the page we were in before and refresh it Sorry, we were in this page. We were in this page before. Just refresh it. Yes, PHP is working now. PHP, this is the configuration for PHP for your current system. It's, uh, current version is 5.4.3, and configuration file is being loaded from Windows directory, I think. I guess, yeah. So you you can go to windows directory and find out php ini file there and do the configuration for php these are the uh, current tech configuration for php so i hope you guys um, have learned something have uh, understand how to install php in windows so if you like the video don't forget to press like like button and uh, See you soon.